How's it going guys? Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. Welcome back to our Tottenham gameplay save file on Football Manager 2016. So in the first episode, I was just kind of showing you the team and how things were progressing, things like this. Um, since then, I played quite a number of games. We're now up to, uh, yeah, coming up to sort of September, um, October time. So my last game that I've just played, I did win that 1-2-1. One, one. As you can see here, it's not particularly been the best start to the season. Unfortunately, our first, well, our second Premier League game, we unfortunately lost that 1-2-1 one, one away at Bournemouth. To be fair, the results since then haven't been exactly too bad. We got a 1-0 draw um, at home against Man City, a 0-0 draw away at Everton. Again, the same result, but that was at home against Sunderland. We drew 1-0 um, away at Sion in the Europa Cup. We did lose at... Um, well, at home against Chelsea, unfortunately, and that was well, that was the sort of like second loss that we had had for the whole of the season um, at that point. There, unfortunately, we did lose um, against Newcastle in the Capital One um, third cup round as well. So, yeah, to be honest, we I did put out a kind of a little bit of a weakened team. So, yeah, people like younger players like um, Ng Pritchard. Yeah, a few players like that just kind of got a little bit more of a sort of run in the team. Luckily, in the last game, we did actually win that 1-2-1. One, one. So, fingers crossed, we can sort of start to go on a little bit more of a run here. So, what I'm going to do, guys, we'll just have a real quick look at the um, squad. What I'm going to do, actually, so if I put it to the under-21s and the under-18s as well, I was, well, I had so many injuries in the team, it was ridiculous. If you do follow me... Um, on Twitter, so I was putting up quite a few screenshots last last night, just kind of, uh, yeah, sort of showing all the injuries and things like that. So, yeah, it was um, pretty mental, the amount of injuries that I did actually have uh, for this team. So the players are slowly starting to come back now. To be honest, out of the players that are missing now, um, yeah, obviously L Lamella would be playing on the right wing, Chadley probably on the left wing. This guy here is my defensive midfielder, um, and Eric Dyer would normally be my sort of like normal right back. So... You know, I am missing some real key players at the moment, which is a bit bit of a frustration. But yeah, we do, you know, just have to see how we get on, basically. The morale of the team is certainly improving since we managed to get a win in the last game. And the form of the players is very, very slowly improving as well. So what I'm going to do um, at this point, um, so yeah, just real quickly as well, we're currently ninth in the Premier League table. Um, obviously, if we do get a win, we can catch up with fifth place and that will put us in a pretty decent position so obviously if i could kind of creep into the um yeah sort of like european places potentially top four if i can kind of yeah sort of hold on to their coattails if you like throughout the whole season that'd be pretty decent for me um having a look at the league table we can see that liverpool have had a pretty horrendous start they've only got four points on the board so far um, looks like the kind of usual suspects are at the top of the table from the early early doors sort of thing. So probably apart from Liverpool, no other teams are kind of struggling at the moment. Everton are down in 15th. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can get a win under our belt and just kind of keep up around this area. So yeah, I'll prepare the team for that Braga game and then we'll do that as a live com game. Okay then guys, so yeah, we're ready for this game against Braga. Obviously we're at home for this game, so... Really, we just need to kind of start getting a few results under our belt, um, just a few wins and things like that. And hopefully, we can start to kind of push this team forward a little bit more now. So, the yeah, as I said, some of the players are slowly starting to come back from injuries and things like that. The tactic that I'm applying with this team is to, yeah, just kind of retain possession of the ball, but get it forward pretty quickly. And, yeah, just to try and make sure that we, you know, yeah, give the ball to our striker like we just did there. And yeah, that's his fourth goal of the season. So if you watched the first episode, that was the guy that I signed to replace Harry Kane. That guy's 23 years old, um, about six foot four. Um, yeah, he looks to be all right. Obviously, the goalkeeper probably should have done a hell of a lot better there. But within 40 seconds, we are one nil up here. So really good start for Tottenham. Yeah, quite liking this team um, so far. I don't think that we kind of gave too much of a good account of ourselves in the first few games, especially you know, kind of drawing against um, Sunderland and, you know, we lost against Bournemouth as well. I don't think games like that, we kind of did ourselves too much justice. But yeah, certainly since then, um, games we have been playing a lot better. So yeah, Ericsson seems to be getting on the ball a lot. Um, Rose cross crosses the ball for our big target man again. Um, unfortunately, that one didn't go in. But yeah, we do look forward to, 
you know, sort of pushing on and getting some more chances just before half time, hopefully. So throw into us here and Dembele picks the ball up in the middle after a really long throw. Where's our striker gone? Um, yeah, he just disappeared completely there. He should have been around. But yeah, coming up to half time now. So I'm not really too sure about the average rating system in this football manager. It seems to have changed quite um, a lot. So usually if a striker did get a goal or something like that, then there, you know, you'd probably expect an average rating of at least over seven. I mean, this guy's got four goals for the whole season. Um, in about five or six games and his average rating is about 6.8 something or other so maybe that has changed um, quite significantly so having a look through the team overall we're yeah I don't think we're actually playing too well to be honest so I'm going to say I'm far from pleased what I've seen this team from this team just to fire him up a little bit and then anybody that's got a little bit more of a kind of worse rating I'm going to just make sure that they are fired up for the next half. So I'm just going to tell them I'm not happy. Um, so the things I'm looking out for here is obviously that they're listening keenly to me. And, you know, just obviously looking fired fired up is going to obviously be the best thing here. So all the rest of the players, I'm just going to tell them that I've got faith in them. Um, again, this is just to kind of increase confidence a little bit further. And, you know, they are all fired up here. So we'll get this second half underway. Fingers crossed there'll be a few more goals in the second half. Okay, so coming up to the 60 minute mark now, we've got a throw and Danny Rose gets the ball in the middle for Ericsson. Rose does manage to get his cross in and ooh, they might be able to break here, Braga, unfortunately. So yeah, unlucky there from Braga. Um, I'm actually going to make a substitution because I'm not too happy about some of the average ratings. So what I like to do, guys, roughly sort of in about the 60th minute, I'll, I'll have a real quick look at the average ratings of the players. And I'll also have a look at the condition of the players. Um, quite clearly, I can see here that this guy, um, who is our defensive midfielder, is not playing too well at all at the moment. Um, so Kevin Prince Boateng, I signed him just, uh, I think it was a couple of millions. I'm going to bring him on and, yeah, just put him back there just so that we can kind of keep the ball a little bit better. Um, his best role is probably going to be as a ball winner midfielder or a deep line playmaker. I do like having a ball winner midfielder, so I'm going to keep him on that and just on the support function um yeah so this guy's just not performing at the moment at all so i'm gonna hit confirm and we'll crack on with the rest of the second half so obviously as the second half is kind of progressing here what i'm looking to do is yeah just kind of thinking about my tactics um i i kind of tend to let the first 60 minutes of the game just kind of like rock on and just see what happens and then for you know, kind of the second half when I get to the 60 minute mark, that's when I do start to make substitutions and kind of think about tactics and things just for like the last, um, yeah, sort of like half an hour of the game. But Braga are, yeah, kind of passing the ball around pretty nicely here at the moment. So, yeah, we do need to make sure that we can try and win this ball back here. Cool. So that's gone out for a corner. Um, kind of tough to see sometimes with this new match engine exactly what's happening but yeah we managed to clear the ball there so we've got roughly about 15 minutes left I'm just going to see what happens from this corner real quickly we do manage to clear it but it only comes out back out to the guy who took the corner they pass the ball in the middle but we're pressuring them quite well just to kind of make them hurry up that they're passing and things like that we really do need to get onto the ball here so yeah I can see this okay so Loris has got the ball now so with that in mind what I'm going to do is just go to the team instructions and what I'm going to do I'm going to make sure they're not as expressive I'm going to make them stick to their positions I do still think it's a good idea to yeah kind of like pass into space I don't really want them looking for the overlap anymore Um, I think that's probably about it to be honest so I've got the team kind of passing it a little bit mixed but you know, retaining possession, make sure we're passing into space, sticking to our positions as well. I'm not going to go like be more disciplined. I'll probably do that for like the last, um, say, five, ten minutes. But yeah, we'll keep it like this for now. And um, yeah, let's uh, crack on. So about ten minutes to go here. We're kind of slowing down the pace of the game here, just kind of making sure that it's ticking over quite nicely. A few of our players are looking pretty knackered in the middle. I'm more than happy for Braga to be shooting out from that distance all day long. That's no problem for myself. So again, looking at the average ratings here and what I'm also having a look at is the conditions. So 
Yeah, Ryan Mason's had a pretty bad game, 6.6, 6, and his condition is pretty, pretty knackered now. So, with that in mind, what I'm going to do is bring on Chadley. Um, I think that should be okay, to be honest. Um, what I might do is put, uh, where's he gone? Um, yeah, Christian Eriksen, I'm going to put him in the middle, and I definitely would prefer... Um, yeah, Nasser Chadley just to be on the wing, basically just to you know kind of support the the fullbacks and things like that. I think Christian Eriksen is going to be good in the middle, just sort of you know kind of holding on to the ball and things like that. So yeah, we'll confirm that and crack on with the rest of this half. Um, obviously, we are coming up pretty much the last five minutes now. So okay, so what I'm going to do here um, now because we're obviously just looking to hold on to the lead, I'm just going to go for more disciplined. And what I'm also going to do is just go for shorter passing as well. Doo -doo -doo. So luckily Rose picked up that ball in the middle. Our target man should hopefully hold it up here. Does really, really well actually and releases Lamella. Onto Ericsson, onto Boateng. Ah, oh, Dembele really, really should have scored there. Um, so Rose keeps the ball here. Um, fingers crossed we'll just keep a little bit of keep ball here. Just a couple of minutes to go now, guys. So yeah, just obviously looking to hold on to this result two wins in on the trot would be obviously you know an improvement on what has been happening um so far so yeah it would actually be a pretty big result for us if we can hold on to this this victory here we have actually got Watford in the next game as well so Braga have put that out for a throw in and we do get a 1-0 win here so obviously goals are something that I'm not you know they're not exactly flowing at Tottenham at the moment but you know luckily we you know, we're keeping clean sheets. That's something that's really, really good. And yeah, with a few players coming back into the team, I reckon that we can, you know, just start getting a few more goals in the team. So we got Watford in the next game. If we can make it three wins on the bounce, that'd be pretty decent, obviously, for us. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this the end of the episode, guys. Um, in terms of like comments and things like that, I'd love to hear how you guys are getting on with Football Manager at the moment. Um, yeah, let me know what like save files you guys have got going on at the moment. Um, yeah, just how you're getting on and things like that. If you do want to drop a like on the video, please do drop a like. It really, really does help the video. Um, sorry, help the channel out a lot. So yeah, that'd be perfect if you could do that. Um, but yeah, we'll be back very soon for the next episode. Thanks, guys.